I'm going to show you the standard ultrasound evaluation of the liver. For that, I will ask the patient if he has eaten. I ate two hours ago. I will use some ultrasound gel on the right epigastrium and use the curved array sonographical probe. The standard abdominal pre-settings of your sonographical machine will be sufficient. First of all, I go into the median of the body, into the right epigastrium, and I'll tell the patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Here you can see that I'm going to a cross section of the left liver lobe. When I've done that, I will ask the patient to exhale, then inhale again and hold it, and go to the right epigastrium and can evaluate the right liver lobe. Sometimes it's not very easy to fill in all of the blank parts of the right liver lobe because of the air that is in the colon and the patient has eaten two hours ago. So you can also put the right arm over your head, take a deep breath again, and here you can see uh, the picture getting a little bit better, but still it's, it's not optimal. Can you turn around to the left side a little bit? Yeah, that's good. Take a deep breath again. Now we can see the right level lobe a little bit better. When I've done that, I go into the standard cross sections of the center of the liver, the most cranial of them, representing the liver vein star, as you can see here, joining in the um, inferior vena cava, as you can see which would be this structure here. Exhale again, take a deep breath and hold it. The, the next uh, cross section is the jumping stag sign. As you can see here, you can see like the horns on the head of the stag, then you can see the body, the legs going away, which is the portal vein branching in the center of the liver. Exhale again. Take a deep breath again. The next structure you can evaluate here is this echogenic line that is between the right and left liver lobe. This is the interlobar uh, ligament, which ends in the teres hepatis ligament. Exhale again. Take a deep breath again. When you follow the tail of the jumping stag sign, as you can see here, you will find the gallbladder, which is here. Exhale again. When I've done that, I go into a long section through the body to evaluate the left liver lobe in a long section. Take a deep breath again and hold it. You can see the quite filled stomach on the right side of the picture. You can see the uh, entrance into the stomach. And you see the diaphragm as a small echogenic line between the heart and the liver. Exhale again. Take a deep breath again. When I push the probe more to the right side, I come more to the liver center and you see two different structures. You see the echogenic circling around the portal vein, which is the um, tissue around the portal, uh, portal vein branch. And you see the structure that has no echogenic structure around it, which is a liver vein. So this is the difference between the portal vein and the, and the, and the liver vein is that there's no connective tissue around the vein. Exhale again, take a deep breath again. When I move farther over, come to the right liver lobe, you see the portal vein of the right, uh, right liver, right portal vein, and you see the gallbladder again. Then I move gradually down to the end of the liver. Here comes the right kidney. So exhale again and lie back. When there's too much air in the colon, so you cannot see the right liver lobe from the front, there's always a possibility that you go in a, to a transcostal view of the right liver lobe, as you can see here. You can uh, find a sound window 
where you can just tilt the probe at the same position and um, try to evaluate the right liver lobe through the costal view, which can help at the center sometimes when you don't see the uh, portal vein.